No question, road rage is real. That's the message from law enforcement tonight after this video was released showing a man throwing an axe directly at a woman's windshield. And tonight we're learning it wasn't long before that man's rage targeted another victim. Our Jennifer Lee explains how that video led to the 47-year-old's arrest just a day later. Road rage drove this man to swing and hit someone's windshield with an axe. King County Sheriff's deputies say it happened on Ballinger Way in Shoreline on July 27th. Deputies say the aggressive behavior started on Interstate 5. The victim says the driver of the Jeep kept honking on the highway, so the victim got off the next exit to avoid a confrontation. But moments later, the Jeep pulled forward, blocking the driver in to unleash his fury. The suspect is a 47 year old man. It turns out a felony warrant was out for his arrest in King County for a robbery. Deputies also say that he unloaded his rage onto another victim in Everett. On July 29th, deputies in Snohomish County say the suspect was in the road making specific threats and yelling racial slurs targeting a victim in this intersection. A short time later, a theft in progress was reported at the nearby Home Depot. Dispatch says the suspect was seen getting into the same silver Jeep Cherokee. Under new laws, law enforcement cannot pursue a vehicle for a hate crime. The suspect fled from the scene. But it would only be a day later. Authorities captured the man sunbathing at a park in Seattle. We reached out to Washington State Patrol and learned back in 2018 there were 33 road rage incidents between January and June, and that's compared to 21 incidents this year. As for the axe thrower, King County deputies say charges will be filed. In Shoreline, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News. If you are targeted by road rage, law enforcement suggests driving to the nearest police or fire department immediately after.